Okay, welcome class. So today we're gonna, I'm just gonna be a short video on the Cartesian plane again. And so the one thing I wanna talk about is how to look at ordered pairs on where, what quadrant they're going to be in, okay? So again, if you look at the quadrant, uh, the Cartesian plane, it's split up into four quadrants using the X and Y axes as what partition it, okay? So if you look at the Y axis, Y axis partitions in the two sides of the y-axis and the x-axis partitions two half planes, the top and the bottom. So we've got the uh, across the x-axis uh, up here. Now, so these are the positive y-values. These are the negative y-values. These are the positive x-values. And on the other side of the y-axis is the negative x-values. So again, this is the origin. So this is where 0, 0 is located, right at the origin. Okay, and so the way to understand this is all the points in here are going to be positive and positive. So X and Y are both positive. Okay, in quadrant two, the X values become negative and the Y values are still positive. So all of these values you'll have negative followed by positive. And then in quadrant three, you have both negative, right? So you have negative x values and negative y values, okay? And then in quadrant four, you have positive x values but negative y values, so it's gonna be plus, comma, negative, okay? And so you can tell just by looking at a point which quadrant it's, it falls into by looking at the signs of each coordinate, okay? So now, the other thing too is, is to remember that the way the, qu the, qu the quadrants are numbered is they're numbered counterclockwise, one through four. So this is quadrant one, two, three, four. And so now, if you understand that, then if you're given a point, let's say I give you a point A, B, that's in quadrant one. And then I give you, then I give you say, okay, if this is in quadrant one, and then say, okay, tell me where quadrant A negative B is located. Well, if you know that A, B is in quadrant one, you know that they're both positive. And so if you go to A, negative B, well, then now it goes from positive, positive to positive, negative, which means that it has to be in quadrant four, okay? And so it doesn't matter where I'm at. So let's say we change this. Let's say I give you a point, A, B, in quadrant three, okay? So now you know it's in quadrant three. And I say, okay, where is, okay? So if I ask, okay, what quadrant is Okay, so if I ask in what quadrant is A comma negative B, okay? So you know this, right? So I give you some number, A, B, and we know if it's in quadrant three, they're both negative, right? Now, I wanna know which quadrant is A negative B. Well, what's happening here? A negative B, I'm taking the opposite of B. Well, B is negative because I'm telling you it's in the third quadrant. So that means I'm what? I'm taking this B and I'm making it the opposite value, which is in this case positive, which means I'm going to reflect over across the x-axis and I'm going over to this side. And so, A negative B has to be in the second quadrant. Why? Because I know that AB is negative, negative. And if I say opposite of B, which means now B is becoming positive, X stays the same, right? So A stays negative, now B is positive, so it has to be in the second quadrant. And that's how you work it out, okay? That's it.